just a couple of minutes worth of pregame show. And it is Saturday. It is a warm day in Maryland. I don't know where you all are hanging out, but we will see what this broadcast is like. Let me pull it up on my iPad, see what the audio is sounding like for this brief pregame show. We're going to restart. We're going to restart. Sorry about that. Start here, going live after a restart, and we'll see what we got. We're about one minute to five o'clock. One minute to five. Let's see if we solve the audio issue. We should be good to go. Should be good to go. Yes, we are. Okay, we got just a couple people in the house on a Saturday. Everybody's out having fun, out running around, making things happen. Bunch of youngsters out there making things happen. So I had some idiot, <laughs> one of the Facebook groups, they posted a thing. Oh, 56 children got COVID-19. <laughs> I posted, I said, well, you know, uh, anyone under 12 is at very low risk of, of a bad outcome. Most of them just get a runny nose and get over it. And where, where, where did you find this data? Where's this coming from, right? I said, well, pretty much all the data says that. Go ahead and do some research. Check it out. I don't know. These people are just in total panic mode. They're trying their best to scare the you-know-what, the bejesus out of people. Oh, well. And meanwhile, they're lining up at the carryout windows to buy McDonald's fast food and to keep getting fatter and to keep getting more at risk. They've had, what, four months now to try to get in shape? And they've had the lovely Brianna. She's in the chat. She's willing to help them get into shape. She's got videos showing them how to get into shape. She gives a lot of tips and so forth. They've had time to take action, folks. They've had time to take action, get themselves in shape. And by the way, this, this shirt has some purple in it. And, and uh, that's the, the lovely Brianna's favorite color. And there's the, the gold stunner peeking out from underneath that cuff. And uh, the gold stunner is looking pretty. Let's, let's get it all the way out of that cuff there. There we go. Look at that. Look at that puppy. Pretty, pretty freaking amazing. Pretty amazing. And Bree saying hello to a bunch of folks. <clears throat> and this is part two, a continuation from yesterday. And towards the end, I can Skype in today. Oh, cool. Excellent. Excellent. The lovely Bree can Skype in. And uh, by the way, today is push-up day. If you want to demonstrate uh, how you do push-ups, you could do that. That would be cool. And just feel free to call in. Maybe give it about 15 minutes or so for more people to get in. 15, 20 minutes. They uh, usually take a little while to drift into the show. And let's do a quick time check. There's a quick time check on those two stunners. And I had a subscriber asking me about possibly buying the 005 on the right and I said I'm not really quite ready to sell it at this point but uh, I might consider it at some point I'm really not wearing that puppy I'm really wearing the 231 on the left and the 002 right here on wrist are really the two that I'm wearing in rotation uh, one thing that we did talk about yesterday Eduardo's in the house <clears throat> one thing that we did talk about is those belts from reef leather r-e-e-f leather and uh, here they are and i showed some of the belts yesterday and here i have two of these and the one i think the brown one i may have this backwards but i think the brown one i bought from david morgan and he was just reselling them for wreath leather and then i figured out because it said wreath leather inside the belt then I went straight to the Reef Leather website and bought the second one direct from them for less money. And they shipped it all the way from Australia. And by the way, this is saltwater croc, which is the best crocodile leather. Is the, from comes from the saltwater croc. And here is their website, reefleather.com.au, right? And it's a little bit tricky when you scroll down here. It tells all about the leather they use and so forth. It's a small family operation. They talk about it. And then you click on one of these PayPal links, one of these blue links here, to get to the actual items for sale. 
and then again it tells you about the items and it tells you how to measure for the size and so forth and the belts that I have I believe are the 35 millimeter hornback belts these right here are the belts that I have and they are two hundred and twenty dollars now I don't know if that includes shipping and I don't know if there are any import duties on it I don't think there are but don't quote me on that but in any event they are high quality belts and it might be something to consider I like both of mine I like the black one and the um, and the uh, brown one I like them both now the belt I have on right now is the one from Orvis okay <clears throat> and uh, and it is a more uh, it's it's a little bit dressier it's a little bit the, those two reef the reef leather belts are really heavy duty they, they look great with khakis or with jeans they're really more a heavy duty robust looking belt and this one that I have on now is more like it, not full dress but kind of in between a dress belt and that heavy duty it's kind of an in-betweener which is is very versatile but the this one from or Oris that you see there uh, they are very hard to find very hard to find and it's made in the USA I don't think they sell them anymore or Orvis uh, so that's going to be tricky to find but maybe you maybe you'll get lucky and find one but that uh, that's the deal um, the port TGV 2020 since Lance is not here yet I've taken the liberty of sending in a link to a good entry-level GS only potential drawback is it's 37 mil Okay, we'll take a look. Boris Oris. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Let's let's see what what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Let's do a time check while I pull this up. While I try to pull this up at least. Uh, budget GF GS. This is an audience participation show. This is a straight up audience participation show. I'll tell you what, that's a hell of a buy for 2017 or newer watch. Because it's got the, you know, the 2017 or newer dial, right, with the GS at the top. That is a heck of a buy. For somebody, some people want a smaller watch. Now, for some reason, that that bracelet at the top maybe it's just the angle of the photo or whatever but see it looks like there's a gap there they usually fit perfectly to the case see see that see it looks like there's a gap there I wonder if that bracelet was not original to that watch or something I wonder if there's a little bit of a fit issue there see what I mean see that gap that's a little bit much other than that nice case design I wonder, you know, it's possible that the spring bar is bent a little bit and, and causing that gap. So that would be the thing to try to figure out on this one, is what's going on with that, that apparent gap. Maybe it's just the photo making it look like there's more of a gap than there actually is. I don't know. See that? See that? It, I swear it looks like there's quite a gap there. Now on this channel, <clears throat> we call it the way we see it, folks. Some people don't like that, right? Some people don't like that. But if they don't, they move along. Go to another channel because we call it the way we see it. Straight up. <clears throat> we, don't, we don't sugarcoat things on this channel. That's not how it works around here. Now let's see. The port... TGV 2020 imagine how many times Lance would have banned you by now if you didn't have a wrench <laughs> oh wait um, I consider the wrench an invincibility cloak there you go Arnold Jenkins doesn't have a wrench you know uh, Lau Boutin makes nice shoes for men now I'm not sure they're sneakers okay not sure who that is Oris belt goes fine with the gold stunner Yes, it does. It absolutely does. Here, let me stand up and put them side by side. <clears throat> so.
So there you go. There you go. I'll tell you, the details matter. All the little details that you put together in the package, including that, see that deployment clasp, how that catches the light too? How that looks, see that? So uh, yeah, all the little details matter. So, uh, <laughs> put the whole package together, folks. The shoes, the, the shirt, the, the belt, everything, right? And even people that have very poor taste that don't know anything about anything can recognize an expensive shirt, a, a stunning watch, a stunning belt, a stunning pair of shoes. Even somebody who's kind of clueless can can recognize those things trust me they can let's see uh, let's see um, GS do not usually fit perfectly to the case oh well mine mine all have mine all have fit perfectly so that's why I say that looked like an outlier there uh, but yeah that is off okay uh, GS doesn't stand for gap space Maybe someone was doing push-ups with their watch on. Hmm, that's possible. The bracelet fits fine on my 005. Yeah, I've never had a... I've had two snowflakes. The bracelets fit perfectly. The 231 right there, the bra bracelet fits perfectly. The 005, the bracelet fits perfectly. I've never seen any Grand Seiko where, where the fit was not pretty much perfect. What's the... <laughs> What's the wrench business, LOL, Arnold Jenkins? Well, after you're here long enough, and we, we would rather you have a, a, an actual icon, uh, the, except for the, not the generic icon. I would, I'd rather you have an actual icon. And once the wrench members are, are comfortable with you, and if you want a wrench, then you would be issued a um, wrench. That's right. Need a, a wrench etic etiquette course. Uh, I've seen people banned here for doing absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> I've tried to invite others to join the channel, but they heard about the reputation. Yeah, it's a difficult group here. It <laughs> it's a it's a tight group. It's a it's a challenging group, and uh, those that come in and try to cause any little bit of trouble, sometimes they can get hammered big time. And yes, the word has gotten around. And those with a weak stomach uh, have kind of stayed away, and I don't blame them. I, I think it's a wise move. If you can't take a severe beating and, and take it well, this is probably not the group to hang around with because these people are tough, tough business. Craig, did you get a chance to compare the 005 to the 003 black top? I much prefer the dark blue uh, the, uh, uh, dial and because I'll tell you why. I like the red GMT hand and the red GMT. The other is orange, and that really is the big was the big kicker for me. And plus the blue. See how the blue is just peeking out a little bit there. Sometimes when the sun hits it, depending on the sun, how the sun hits it, it just looks stunning. Most of the time it looks black. Believe it or not, most of the time the dial on that watch looks black. But there's certain times when that blue just pops, and it is amazing. I would always go with the 005 over the 003. Both nice watches, but I would it's not even it wouldn't be a close call for me. I would always go for the 005. And that's I'm not just saying that cuz I have it, but the reason I have it is cuz I, I could have had either, right? He had both in stock at the time. Uh of everyone getting banned is it watch watch belts for or or oris <laughs> Tor torso straps for trousers from Orvis. Yeah, it's Orvis. Orvis is the uh, the outdoors, you know, retailer, outdoorsy type stuff. They, they made the belt. Orvis. Orvis. Yes, you're correct on that. Um, LOL, I got my wrench removed like a month ago. I think Lance lobbied for it. I don't know what happened there. I, I really don't know what happened there. <clears throat> Triforce Rich is in the house. I, I like Lance a lot but he is hurting the channel with his wrench aggressiveness. Craig, you should probably talk to him. Hey, I, I'm fine. 
I, I, I did, you know, I'm fine with a small group in here. I, we don't need to, uh, to grow this, you know. There's other channels that, you know, have hundreds of people watching and stuff. You can't get a word in edgewise. I mean, this is a manageable number that we usually have. I usually sometimes have trouble keeping up with the chat as it is with our existing group. So I could really care less. If, if, if somebody doesn't like what we do here and, and isn't into it, hey, be my guest. Move on. Move on. There are a lot of other channels to hang out, hang out at. And by the way, did you guys see the video that uh, Just Bluefish did? Calling out a YouTube channel for doing sponsored videos and not uh, disclosing it. Uh, that was that was pretty wild. Uh, he pretty much named the channel that he was talking about. I think people are smart enough to realize if people are are uh, in cahoots with a brand, especially if they're talking about a marginal brand that. Uh, you know, like some micro brand or something that all of a sudden they're pushing and, and so forth. I, I think those kinds of things that come out of left field are, are pretty obvious. And, uh, and, you know, I have been very upfront about, uh, I talk about the things that I buy and use and use aggressively, all of my gear, all of my equipment, you know, we, we talk about that. And I will not talk about things that uh, that I don't on this channel and these live streams that I actually use and, and like, uh, like the Timeless Razors here. I wouldn't talk about the Timeless Razors if I didn't use them every day and I didn't like them. And I can buy any freaking razor I want, right? Razors are not expensive, even real good ones, right? Or a couple hundred bucks, whatever, right? I mean, it's not like it's thousands of dollars. I can buy whatever the hell you know shaver I want and I bought timeless razors because they're just super well made so that's what we do on this channel is we talk about the stuff that we like and we use and that we recommend so now sometimes I'll do a product review on this channel a recorded video of something that somebody sent me and I'm getting I'm getting pickier and pickier all the time on that because they used to send me a lot of junk Chinese junk a lot of crap and I don't I won't do a review on it if I don't like it if I don't think I would actually use it like these lights I'm using right now these are relatively affordable LED lights and I've done a review on them they've sent me the, the, the bulbs and I did a review on them because I actually use them right if I didn't actually use them then I wouldn't have done a review right that's how that whole thing works it's not uh, not real complicated but these people that get, get watches and all of a sudden they're like pushing some watch that they haven't been wearing previously and that all of a sudden like came out of left field somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think people can kind of put two and two together on what's going on with that. Uh, let's see, in Lance's defense, I guess, he hammered Chip Wong yesterday, not because of what he said, but because of who he is, a troll. <laughs> Well, yeah, trolls should get hammered. Absolutely. Uh, Triforce Rich, uh, Deport TGV uh, 2020. I heard Chip Wong has multiple wrenches on here already. Oh, okay. He's already in here with wrenches. Wow, he's infiltrated. David Williams gives a thumbs up for something. I don't know what. Okay. I don't watch Just Bluefius. He's pretty boring. <laughs> Deport TGV. Okay. Mr. Q, I saw that uh, Just Bluefius hasn't succumbed to the profits uh not yet at least <laughs> okay maybe they haven't offered him enough right <laughs> everybody has their price hey if grand seiko contacted me you know and and said hey we we got this new new watch we'd like you to talk up and so forth and they offered me enough money ah jeez I, I if i didn't like the watch though I, I i don't think i could do it i i don't think i could be uh I don't think I could be convincing if I didn't actually like the watch because because I've talked about it on this channel before. They make some ugly watches, folks. I mean, they have some case designs and stuff that I don't know who was thinking about what. Right. So, yeah, if they wanted me to promote one of those ugly watches, I don't think I could do it. Now, that watch. Did you see the review today from that? watch collector channel or whatever did you see the one he did uh 
on that titanium stunner. Now that's a stunner. Let me let me see if I can pull it up here. Give me a second. Um, and I had to correct him too. He made a he made a big mistake on his uh, on his details. He, he made a mistake. Okay, he made a mistake. And uh, and I put a comment in there. Hopefully he'll leave it in there. Uh, let's let me see if I can find this video because it, it's a good one. It's 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 well worth watching, folks. But uh, give me a second and I'll try to find it. This thing is loading slow. It's loading slowly. Um, okay, yeah, here it is. Here it is. All right. <clears throat> so Guys, this video Donald here. Trump Jr. here. Let me and I'll get right I'll to the point. This My father selected 100 patriots okay. out of the. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys skip an forward to the watch. And trust me, when the lug to lug size, um, but he does a little. Say, go on, let them know that you heard about. It. It's very comfortably on the. Here. Okay. For that here's kind of money, watch. I could go get myself a cool little Omega, or better yet, a nice JLC triple calendar moon face with the box papers and perhaps. Okay. So 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 it's a stunner. It's a stunner. I, I I I like this watch because I like all the gold on it on the dial and everything, and it's titanium. And let, let, let me go to a wider shot here so you guys can see. Again, let me restart this. I just wanted to check everything that's there. He called me over and said, hey, check out our Grand Seiko section. I thought to myself, sure. It's a, it's a nice looking piece. It's, it's, a, it's a sleeper. You don't, see, you don't see that watch very often kicking around. And that would be a watch that I would have considered if I didn't buy the 231, I would have definitely considered that stunner we just looked at it. The, 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 um, let's, let's look at it a little more here. Sure, whatever. After all, can't be snobby with the sales guy who knows you're probably not walking out with anything that day. Well, the guy knew what he was doing. How, you might ask? Well, he, does he very pulled good out photography. the SVGA 211, the snowflake. He oh, also now he's going to talk about the snowflake, but, but in any event, uh, he did a nice review, nice video. I highly recommend you take a look at that. That's Watch Collecting Strategy is the channel. The big uh, error that he made is he said that it, the titanium was coated <clears throat> to aid in scratch resistance. <clears throat> the titanium that uh, Grand Seiko uses is not coated. The titanium that, that was in my SBDC-007, the Shogun, that has a, a, what they call a dia shield, I think, coating on it that makes it very scratch resistant. But Grand Seiko uses a special grade 5 titanium that is pretty tough stuff that is you know, pretty scratch resistant, but not it's not as scratch resistant as the coated watches. The downside, the reason that Grand Seiko didn't want to use the coating on their titanium is it can't really be easily refinished. Okay, so they stayed away from the coating because it's more of a lifetime watch, right? And so that was a mistake that he made in his uh, specs. Uh, and I made a comment in there <clears throat> saying, no, that the Grand Seiko titanium does not have a coating on it. So, um, Craig, just go ahead and start sending them invoices for your previous services to them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to waste the postage <laughs> or the time to email one to them because that, <laughs> that ain't going to happen. Matter of fact, I don't think any of the major brands like Grand Seiko, Rolex, Omega, I don't think any of them directly pay influencers to talk about the watches. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think that they do that. <clears throat> I don't think that's a thing. I think micro brands and others do that, but I don't think the big guys do that. Uh, let's see. I mean, they may work out deals with like the Watchbox and big organizations like that. They they have promotional deals and like little treasury jewelers. Like he might run an ad and they might like co like pay for part of it or something like that. They do things like that with their dealers, but I don't think they pay uh, YouTube people uh, to do stuff like that. I just don't think that's a thing. I could be wrong. But uh, I just don't think that's a thing. Triforce Rich, Craig has sold hundreds of GS through his videos. He's their marketing department. A volunteer marketing department. There you go. 
That's how that works. Um, I've actually sold a lot of things over the years. A lot of camera gear, a lot of lighting equipment, a lot of uh, belts, probably. <laughs> Maybe even Gitman Brothers shirts. Um, I'm like the master salesman who, who like, doesn't get paid <laughs> for his, his efforts. Um, now, Steve is a client of Area Guides of my main company. He advertises on a number of my websites. But he was doing that for Little Treasury Jewelers before I ever even started doing these videos. So he actually signed up to do that first. And then I, I started doing videos. And then, of course, the videos kind of just have gotten out of control here with the lockdown. But that's just what has happened. Kyle's in the ho house. <clears throat> and let's see, um, Mr. Q's in the house. The Port TGV says, can't complain about my Omega's accuracy. It was one second slow two days ago because I wasn't wearing it. Then I wore it all of yesterday, and now it's corrected itself, so it's spot on. Cool. Cool. Stig's in the house. Try uh, your right. GS, do not have to pay Craig. They're getting the av advertisement for free. Uh, 7800 for the SBGE215. Yeah, that is a... Um, that is a heck of a piece, Kevin. Uh, that That's an impressive piece. Let me skip forward and show a little more of this footage of his because it's this is some impressive footage too. Brands that when I put anything in the same price range or above, I expect perfection. Is that fair? Maybe not. But when you own your first Grand Seiko, that will happen to you. You don't... Um, you will dissect... You don't see that piece in, around very often. I I don't know... Why? Because it seems like to me that is right with the 231. Uh, th those would be like my first and second choice for a sport watch from Grand Seiko. Those would be right there together. And I don't know why. It seems like the 231 is a lot more popular and sells a lot. M maybe, hey, may you know what? Maybe it's because I don't have the 215. <laughs> maybe that's it. Maybe if I had the 215 and was talking about it all the time, maybe it would be selling. Maybe, maybe that's the way that works. What do you guys think? Is that the way that works? Um, L. Ron Hubbard is in here. Jeez. Uh, let's see. I had that GSGMT on my bucket list until I saw it in person. I'm not a fan of the case design. Okay. Do you think the case design on the 231 is nicer? Craig emailed my handmade loafers wearing right now. Okay, we'll take a look. Hey, Craig, how long did it take for HD straps to deliver your straps? I paid for the um, DHL shipping. It was like a week, about a week or so total. So if you pay for the faster shipping, then you get them a lot quicker. I think he says if you use the cheaper shipping, it could be like three weeks or something. They're coming from Vietnam, right? So, yeah, I got mine like maybe even quicker than a week it might have been like five days or something it was it was insanely quick all right let me see if i can pull up this uh email from mr q mr q stepping up stepping up stepping up there you go yeah those are some nice looking pieces nice looking pieces i bet you they're comfortable too absolutely moccasin style construction right so that leather is going to be wrapping underneath the foot and comes up and then they sew it with that mock toe all the way around that's uh that's the way to go uh let's see um let's see the hubbard strikes again real nice piece first time i've seen it lol poor mr hubbard these wrenches uh uh, let's see. Uh, it says hidden by David Williams. So does that mean he's hidden from the channel? That means does that mean you wrench guys can actually hide them, or can you just temporarily hide them? Free check bomb. Oops, I mean free. Okay. Um, why would I? From what I understand, I'm I'm a little bit slow on the uptake. So so try to clue me in on this. I understand that this guy Chip Wong is a multimillionaire, right? 
multimillionaire. Why in the hell does he have time to hang out on channels like this and and play games? But doesn't he have something better to do? I mean, I don't understand. What What's the deal with all that? <laughs> Please explain it to me so I can understand. Uh, uh, DHL's the way to go. They delivered my straps in five days to Canada. Yeah, it's amazing. Travers Rich Craig, what are your views on L. Ron Hubbard? I don't. I haven't really thought about it. I haven't really thought about it. I haven't uh, haven't consumed any of uh, his stuff, uh, so can't really can't really comment on it. Uh, yes, hidden means banned. So, but then it says he was timed out after that. It says at 5:28 p.m., L. Ron Hubbard w- was timed out. How come he, if he was hidden, then how come he's back after that, after the fact? He was hidden at 527, and then he was back. So how did that work? Uh, Triforce Rich is in the house. Um, He made his money through Bitcoin. That is why also he sits on his ass all day making investments, and for some reason he is incredibly good at it. That is what I've been told. Yeah, but if he has all this money you know millions of dollars why doesn't he have something better to do can he not think of something better to do than to hang out in in all these chat rooms on on youtube channels i mean my god i could probably just off the top of my head come up with a list of five things that would make more sense for him to do than that you know without even thinking about it much so i don't get it I don't get it. Uh, Let's see. I think Chip Wong feels guilty for trolling you, so he's developed this elaborate narrative to justify his redemption. (laughs) Jeez. I unbanned him, then he got timed out. Okay. Um, Maybe it's one troll with ADHD creating all those accounts. Agree, Craig. David Williams says he agrees. (laughs) David's a guy that, you know, has things to do, places to go and, and people to see and so forth. By the way, David, um, let us know, are you still interested in selling your 005 and what's the package deal price? Because we've got somebody in the chat that, that has expressed some interest in an 005. And uh, I'm not going to name him publicly here in the chat, but we do have somebody here. And uh, it might be worthwhile to have that information to see if you've given any more thought to that and what the status is on that. And Brianna, if you're listening, you can call in at any time. I've got the, um, I have, uh, I have uh, Skype up. So you can call in if you're still hanging around, hanging around. Let's see here. Uh. What else we're going to talk about? This is part two from yesterday, and we talked about um, oh, we talked about the Russell moccasins. And let me see if I still have any cool uh, any cool things to show here before I I'm, I'm going to I'm going to get rid of some tabs here. Uh, we had oh here we go here's the. Uh, the website for Russell Moccasin Company. And look, go to part two, part two, all, I mean, not part two, part one of this where we talked about these a lot and I showed various uh, Russell Moccasins. And, re- and again, it's the construction. They're not all like this moccasin here on the right. That's an actual moccasin, right? They, they're boots. He's got all different kinds of styles. He's got walking shoes. He's got, see that chukka there? I mean, that's pretty nice looking. Uh, so he's got... You know, they're all like what I would call sport casual. They're they're, they're not like dress shoes, right? But uh, for people that wear khakis most of the time or jeans or something like that, I mean, a pair of shoes like that that uh, on the screen there, right there, that that would be nice. That that be, look that would look pretty classy. So there you go, Russell Moccasin Company. Oh, the lovely Bree is calling. <clears throat> Okay, try to turn the camera so it's horizontal, young lady. Oh, okay. So the picture's horizontal if you can't. Okay, perfect. 
Is that better? That's better. Okay. Hi, everyone. Okay. So, Bree, um, what have you been doing lately? Mm -hmm. Fill us in. Um, exercising and practicing my hoop that I have right now. Okay. Oh, are you going to show us some hooping? Sure. Okay. Step back and show us some, some hooping. Let's see if you're making progress. See if I can. Uh, the lovely Brianna, BreeFitDance.com. I'm actually using a tripod. Yeah, we just point it so that it's okay. Take your time. Now Carlos is calling. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring him in. I'm gonna see if we can get him to join because he's in the at the Mediterranean. We're gonna see if we okay, can get no him problem. in here. See what happens. Okay. All right, Carlos, you're in, and uh, we, hello, we, Greg. We've How got, are you? Good, and we've got a live stream. Hi, we've got a live stream from Brianna, the lovely Brianna. Yeah. And uh, where are you? Uh, and she's doing some hooping, by the way. She's doing a little bit of hooping. Uh, oh, there you are. There you're, you're hanging out on the. And yeah. It looks like you're enjoying the nightlife, and and that yeah. lo that looks good, Bree. You could just keep hooping. That's good. And Carlos is showing yeah. us uh, downtown. Now, where are you there? We are in Siracusa, that is Sicily, Italy. Beautiful. It and looks very yeah, nice. Very, very nice. It looks very nice. Sorry? Yeah, a lot of life, as you can see, and not no no social distancing. <laughs> yeah, and so is everybody pretty healthy there? Uh, currently, it seems so, but I understand that they had a bad time before. But right now, but, they're, yeah. but now they're doing okay. Yeah, now they are doing okay. It yeah, looks like it. It, look, it looks like everybody's out having a good time. Yeah, and the good thing is that there are no tourists. It seems that we are the only tourists. Okay. No okay. tourists. Okay, yeah. Is, well, it looks very, very nice. Now, have you been able to eat any uh, food there? Yeah, we we just had dinner. We had a nice dinner. Nice and was it very Italian. good? Yeah, yeah, it was very good. Now I am going. This is a a Greek temple. I don't know if you can see anything. Probably it's a little bit dark, but we can see a little bit. Yeah, the, those are a Apollo temple. Uh, Apollo temple from the Greek. Oh, okay. Two okay. Years ago. Wow, well, yeah, yeah, cool, super cool. A lot of, uh, it's a nice place, yeah, yeah. we are having a lo lot oh, of fun. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it does, it looks very, very nice. Yeah. yeah. So how many how many days are you going to be there? No, we, we, we arrived today and we are leaving tomorrow early morning. Okay. Uh, we are just. Yeah, just a, a stop. We are sleeping here, and and tomorrow we we continue to the south of Sicily, and and to start tomorrow we will be sailing to Malta on okay. uh, at night. Okay. Nice. Very very nice. And you see that the, the street market is still open. Yes. Now we. Uh, and what time is it? What time is it there now? Half past eleven. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah a lot cool. Of people. Yeah. But it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's. We are really enjoying a lot. Sicily is a, a place that I definitely I will recommend. Also, is good quality very good value for money on on everything in my in my point of view cool well yeah it looks very nice it looks very clean yeah. i mean do you, and you feel you feel safe there right walking around no problems yes yes around here yes my mm -hmm. brother that knows better the area before the trip, recommended not to bring very expensive things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, no, I don't, I don't feel any kind of of, of thing. 
Yeah. And, and, it seems and, that and the, port, Catania, the, the port TGV says you're living the Doxa lifestyle. And Triforce Rich yeah. said you're, you're living the life. Have fun, amigo. Mm -hmm. they, yeah. they all wish they were there with yeah, you. Yeah. They all wish they were there with you. Yeah. And in fact, it seems that we are going to expand to extend the trip because the Panamanian airport has been. Uh, yesterday they ruled that the airport will be closed for one more month. Then we should be around more time. <laughs> well, well hey, en enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah, hang out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hang out. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah enjoy yourself, sure. Carlos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that is the thing so that. so yeah take your time i mean it looks beautiful and you said it's very affordable so yeah hang out yeah yeah and 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 one thing that i think that was a privilege mm -hmm. this this area usually is very touristic with a lot of visitors from different places and now we are, have the feeling that there are no tourists in fact most of the hotels and are still closed because the Chinese virus. So are you and getting are you getting very good rates like on hotels and things like that because of that? Yeah, yeah. well, we are sleeping in a, a boat most of the days. Today okay. we we got a, a hotel because we were a bit a bit tired, you know. Sure. Uh, nevertheless, the boat is great. You don't you don't rest the same. On, on that kind of sailing boat. Okay. Yeah, okay. Very nice boat, but it's not as yeah. comfortable as a regular bed. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. All right. Well, thank you very much for the update. And you know you're always welcome to call in and give us updates. Yeah. We love it. Bye, Carlos. Okay. Thank you. And, and, and hello and uh, to all the friends and all the brothers, all the Craig. Channel Brothers. <laughs> yes, yes. And enjoy, enjoy. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you, Carlos. Bye-bye. Okay. That's it. That's an update from Sicily. From Sicily. Live update. And the lovely Bree, you've been doing pretty good with that hoop. You're, you're making progress. Yeah, I've been practicing. Okay, so um, it's kind of warm out there too, right? It is. Okay. I put some lotion, like um, sun lotion, is that what it is? Sunscreen, yeah. Sunscreen um, to cover, you know. Now you want to get about at least 20 to 30 minutes of sun each day to get that vitamin D. So you want to get that. Yeah. Okay. So no, I definitely do that every day. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so you're you're making progress. Do you do you are you having fun with the hoop? Yeah, it's like a toy. Do you, and do you think it's something that you're going to stick with and that you're going to really become an expert? I think I can. Yeah. With practice. Because you've already know how to dance, so you've got the dancing part. Now you just have to incorporate the hoop and the dance, right? Or exercise. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, exercise with the hoop too. All right, all right. So let let's get um, where can uh, everybody find out about you and follow you and get tips and all that because people need to learn about fitness and health and all that good stuff. Definitely. Uh, it's Brief It Dance on every platform. You can go to briefitdance.com and subscribe, follow me on everything. And I will show them your, your website also after, after you hang up. So are there any other uh, words of wisdom that you want to share with, with the viewers? Um, to stay motivated. Okay. It, it's one life, so we got we to gotta follow our dreams. Hey, that's very good advice. That You know, life is short, and we've talked about on the yeah. channel here that, you know, if you've got, like, some a really nice watch, you should wear it and get out and enjoy it, not just let it sit in the box, right? And, and uh, exactly. 
yeah, get out and enjoy it because life is short. And, you, you know, you're wise as young as you are. You're very wise to understand that. Because a lot of people, when they're your age, they don't realize that life is so precious and that it's going to go by fast and you should get the most out of it. And you seem to realize. I I wish I was a teenager teenager again, but, but, you know, time time passes. So you got to enjoy it every time. Yep. Every, Every second of the day. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for calling in, and um, and I guess I'll show your channel also after, um, and keep Thanks. keep keep working out. And when you do your push-ups, work hard. Okay. Oh yes. All Definitely. right. All right. The lovely Bree. Thank you very much. Bye. The lovely thank Bree you. calling in. All right. That's how it works. We just had a live report from the lovely Brie and from Carlos in Sicily. Nothing wrong with all that. Let me catch up on the comments. Let's see. David says the 05 is an excellent watch, though would rather set up, uh, step up to a spring drive or something else. Okay, try for switch. I think he really believes that fake news article written about you and has a personal vendetta against you. Just my opinion. Yeah, he really hates crappy. Okay. Um, and let's see, Carlos is drunk. Uh, No, I hope not. Uh, No masks. That's right. No, we don't need no stinking masks. (laughs) It's a double feature. All right. It sure was. Craig's not married. That's right. I'm not. LOL. Uh, Carlos is living the life, having fun, amigo, living the life, Doxa style. Yeah, we, I relayed those two comments. Is that a pine tree in the back or cypress? That's a good question. We'll have to ask the lovely Bree that next time. Life of a boss, okay. Um, Tim says, I hope Carlos does not get seasick on the boat. Seems like he's been traveling pretty well. Triforce Rich, other channels are a bunch of guys talking about how much their Rolex is worth or could be worth. But here we get updates around the world with international superstars. (laughs) Triforce Rich always has a a good way of of phrasing things. Uh, And... uh, David says, good point, Tim. Uh, Go Bree, says Kevin. Wise Bree, Mr. Q. Glad to see Bree having fun outside, says David Williams. Yeah, she spends a lot of time, that's in her yard, and she spends a lot of time, I think, out there exercising and dancing and and all that. Uh, Deport TGV 2020, if I were a teenager again, I'd get two jobs and put everything in Bitcoin. There you go. Especially if we could go back to 2010 and do that then. That would be even better, right? Uh, Eduardo says, uh, when are we going to touch on fall and winter wear, like sweaters and jackets? Well, I mean, I've got already got a lot of videos and things on my channel. I've got a five best bombers jacket uh, video on my channel that's been very popular. And in the the clothing section on my clothing photos on Flickr, I've got a lot of photos on on things like that. And I've got, if you want to see a sweater, let me let me show you one of my favorite sweaters that unfortunately I know I no longer own. And I'll tell you why. I'll show you why. Let me let's see if I can find it. Um, see if I can find it and then I'll show you what I mean yeah here it is here it is and um, okay this is one of my favorite sweaters this is a cashmere sweater (coughs) that um, unfortunately for me I I let the lovely Brianna try it on and she liked it so much it felt so nice and she liked it so much that she kept it so the lovely Brianna has one of my favorite cashmere sweaters and I have to admit I have to come right out and say and and admit that it looks a lot better on her than me and she loves to wear that just kind of just just that just just the sweater and nothing else she likes to she likes the feel of it against her skin so uh, so I have to say, now I do have about a 
half dozen or a dozen more left. So, um, so there's that. And I think I have, I think I have a picture of her and one of the others. Let me see if I do have that. Um, yeah, here's, here's another one. Just give me a second here to pull this up. Wait, what, ju what just happened? Um, okay. Here is, uh, here she is wearing a gray one. A gray one. Now, I don't think she kept that one. I think she just kept the red one, if I remember correctly. I think she just kept the red one. But that's another cashmere sweater. So cashmere sweaters, and now, now cashmere is a tricky thing because the cashmere that c comes from cashmere is much higher quality than the cashmere that comes from like China and some other places. There's, some, there's different grades of cashmere. There's the good stuff that was kind of years ago when you'd buy a cashmere sweater, it was like 300 bucks or something. It was the real deal, the real qual high quality stuff. And then there's the stuff that is not so high quality that comes from China and other places and so you got to watch it all cashmere is not created equal the cashmere sweaters that I have have held up really well they've been very durable some other cashmeres can be more fragile and can have more issues more issues maybe the lovely Brie if she's still hanging around maybe she can make a comment about the cashmere sweater that she has uh, let's see here at Craig what's a nice amount to retire on at age 50 well it depends on the purchasing power of that money when you're 50 years old right there's a lot of inflation going on and money may not be worth as much as it used to be right so yeah that's a good question the, the idea is you better have as much as possible <laughs> the more the better uh, damn you guys hate Hubbard I think he's trying to make the point that Scientologists believe in multiple lifetimes Craig and Brief It Dan says thank you all and Tim says David if you are still looking for a GS spring drive we can both get the new blue GS GMT that's being released in August well there you go that'd be cool a Brief It Dan says how much, how much do you want for that sweater <laughs> I don't think the lovely Brie will sell that red sweater, but maybe she'll say, maybe she'll let you know in the chat. Um, it's not far. I'm a follower of Heaven's Gate, and we believe that there's an evolutionary level above human population by what humans call aliens. A a a a a you mean aliens? Uh, David Williams, Tim, not keen on the non-rotating bezel. Cashmere. Ooh, 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 yeah, said the Port TV. Eduardo says, I like my wool sweater quite a bit. I have two lamb's wool sweaters made by Woolrich and another one made uh, out of lamb's wool. I do have a couple of lamb's wool sweaters too, but I do prefer the cashmere ones. Uh, but yeah, I, I have I have all of the above. Uh, the uh, Deport uh, TGV says, Craig, what's the deal with goat skin Lucchese boots? <clears throat> I think they would be okay. I think they would be okay if they're Lucchese classics. I'm not a big fan of the Lucchese 2000s and some, some of the lower line uh, boots that they came out with. I would go with the classics, but yeah, I, I, think, I, I think that would be good. That's a, that's a good, um, goatskin's durable stuff. Refit Dance, the red cashmere is really comfortable. Lance says, hello, Craig and all. And Tim says, I have my diving watch for a rotating bezel so that does not bother me Craig does it bother you that your GMT does not have a rotating bezel no not really not really um, it serves its function as far as I'm concerned if I need to change my time I can just you know move the hour hand backwards and forwards and that's very convenient and then what I do is I leave the 24 hour hand on what I call the real time the real time like if you look there it's not it's not at the same time 
because it's it's reflective of the real time without daylight savings time and all that crap interfering right i leave it on what the real time would be if the government did not interfere with the timing and so that's what i use the 24-hour hand for um let's see david williams he's trolling right no truth in that statement okay hubbard are you able to see who's banning you <laughs> okay um david williams is he trolling right no truth in that mr q thank you i'll take a look and the lovely brief it Dan, Dan says not selling my cashmere i'm good <laughs> eduardo there you go um Let's see. But, hey, if he offered enough Bitcoin, uh, Bree, maybe you should reconsider, depending on what uh, what Bitcoin he would offer. Um, so let's see. But she does like that sweater, I think. I think she does like it. So, yeah, it would have to be a significant offer, probably. Um, and like I said, she looks pretty stunning in it. I'll, I'll say that unequivocally. I will say that she looks pretty stunning in that red cashmere sweater let me know in the chat what you guys think let's let's pull it up again here and let's get an let, let's get a let's get a, a a rating let's get a rating we'll get do a rating here okay let me pull this up i'm going to pull this up okay all right so here's the lovely brie in the cashmere sweater okay the lovely Brie. So give us a rating on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 to 10. 1 being very marginal, very marginal, and 10 being stunning. Give us a rating between 1 and 10, how you think the lovely Brie looks in that cashmere, that cashmere sweater. Just put, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. And we'll see what what we'll see what you guys say. Maybe I'm delusional. I'm I'm saying a solid ten. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and put that in the chat right here. Let me see if I can put that in here. I'm going to say ten, but I could be delusional. I've been I have been. Here's the thing. I've been accused in the past of being delusional. So there's that, right? So let's see if I'm delusional or not. The Port TGV. Is in the house. Only someone with a wrench can see who bans whom. Okay. Triforce Rich. Craig, USPS messed up a delivery on my Crockett and Jones boots. Uh oh. Was supposed to be here Friday. And then they shipped it a couple of cities over instead of to my house. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Mr. Q gives her an 8.8. An 8.8. Eduardo gives her an 8. Okay. Eduardo's, give, Eduardo's giving her an 8. Still a very good rating. <clears throat> and, um, well, that's a shame about the Crockett and Jones boots. Uh, hopefully they'll get that sorted out, Triforce Rich, and I would like to see them on the channel. Uh, the Port TGV 2020, maybe we should ask Megan Lamont and many of the other cast of characters on this channel. Uh, I'm not going to answer because my girlfriend might see this. <laughs> the port TGV. And Lance says 8.5. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So far, I'm given the highest rating. Of course, I have the, the advantage. I have the distinct advantage of I, I saw her in person. And so, I, you know, you got to realize that she is like, 10 times more stunning in person than she is on any video or any photo. It's just like a Grand Seiko. A Grand Seiko, you cannot, you cannot represent the beauty of this stunner right here, for example, on this video. There's just no way, there's no way that you can do it, that you can capture the stunning, of course, look at the way that's reflecting that light. That's pretty amazing. But you, you just can't. I mean, you see this in person, and it's like, oh, my God, right? And so it's pretty much the same with, with the lovely Brie, that you just cannot capture that her, her absolute stunning, stunning beauty in, unless she's in person. Okay, I've got an email coming from Lance. Let's pull this up here. Let's pull this up from Lance. Okay. 
1952 Omega Constellation in 18 karat gold. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Now, see, I don't like that. They'd call it patina, right? I don't like that discoloring on the dash, on uh, dash, on the dial. Uh, and for some reason, I guess that minute hand's long enough. It, I kind of wish those hash marks were further, were closer to the bezel, and that minute hand was longer. It almost looks like the minute hand and the hour hand are almost the same length. You see that? See, there's not much differentiation. So that's kind of funky. And also, I don't particularly like the way the lugs look like they're kind of welded onto the case. You see that? Uh, so that's not... I like the shape of the lugs, but they look long and they look welded on. They look a little bit funky. But it's not horrendous. It's just not... It wouldn't be my cup of tea. I would, I would probably have to pass. I would probably have to pass. Okay. Not a not 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 a terrible price though. Okay. Um let's see. Craig, me and my family are in quarantine. I want to let you know I think we all the wags appreciate your show. Thank you. I think we all the wags. What what do you mean? Are you talking about uh, Mr. Wagner, Mr. Uh, R. Wags. Are you talking about him? Okay. Because uh, I have two Wags that I deal with. Wags Restaurant. Mr. Wagner is the owner of Wags Restaurant, and then we have R. Wags that comes in here. Okay. Try for switch. They'll get here Monday, but just annoying was going to wear them today. Got you. I hear you. Craig, of the many imaginary human beings to frequent this channel, who is your favorite? My vote goes to William J William James, wherever it was spelled. He makes me laugh. I can't pick favorites. Come on. I can't. How could I possibly pick a favorite? Stig's in the house. Solid 10, including the hat. Now, Stig's a man of, of, of uh, good taste. That's clear. Uh, Lance, the, the Hubbard <laughs> slayer. Mr. Q, Lance, uh, do you even know the real L. Ron Hubbard, I who the real L. Ron Hubbard is? Jeffers Rich, he founded the Church of Scientology. There you go. Lance is nobody's dummy. He's nobody's dummy. All right, it's been an hour, folks. Can you believe that? An hour just went by, just like that. And it's been a heck of a show. It's been a heck of a show. And uh, no aliens founded the Church of Scientology. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean all I mean all of your audience keep up the great work, okay? There you go. Um <clears throat> well here's the thing. I do have a soft spot for the folks that I've actually met in person. I'm not going to name names, but the folks that I met in person uh, at Steve's uh, show, at Steve's event, I always have a soft spot for people that I meet in person. But of all the people that frequent this show and frequent the chat, I'd have to say my favorite is probably the lovely Brianna. And uh, so that she's going to be hard to top. She's going to be hard for, for anybody else to top. So, um, but, uh, yeah, the folks that I met in person that, uh, you know, you have more of a connection with, right? So hopefully when Steve has another event, hopefully later this year, hopefully more of the wrench gang will be able to make it and, uh, and I'll meet some more people in, in real life. Uh, let's see. Can't spell Stig without. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to actually, I got to show, I promised that I would show the Lovely Breeze website. So we're going to wrap this puppy up. <clears throat> and hopefully we'll do another show tomorrow. Hopefully we'll, we'll see how that haul all plays out. But in the meantime, go to briefitdance.com, briefitdance.com, and uh, show her some support. And well, I don't think we can. 
we can provide you with the same comfort that Bree does to try for his rich in the house? Uh, probably not. Uh, so anyway, do do go to her website and uh, and you'll find links to her social media and all those kind of good things uh, there on the channel. And if you are so inclined, you'll also find ways that you can help support her uh, creation, her creativity. Uh, and Mr. Q says, thanks, Craig. And I say, thank you. Absolutely. And on that note, we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching, everybody.